Hi, this is Paul Nickerbrooker with Be Your Best Academy and Brock Nickerbrooker. We're going to show you a few drills that we've found to be very beneficial when using a punching bag and the different wood stakes that we use. This is a uh, two by one piece of wood and the idea behind it is to have good hand direction. Your hands have to go to the ball in the correct path and at impact you will see the relationship of palm down, palm up which we'll be able to feel and demonstrate. If it's to be real, you've got to feel. And so that's kind of what we do. It's a tremendous workout. We have different pieces of wood that we use. So we have a two by one. We have a two by three, which is a little bit more difficult to handle for the older kids. The length is about, oh, anywhere between 30 and 33 inches. And then we have the big log, and this is a, a two by four. And again, you can get this anywhere. The black signifies the sweet spot of the bat and the green is simply decorative and it's uh, to get a better grip that we use as a handle. So those are some of the things that we use for the punching bag and we also have this bat that we use for one-handed stuff as well. So uh, allow me to show you some things that we feel are very important. Staying connected, finding a posture, the lead arm serving much like you're throwing a frisbee down the long haul. So here's what we do. We get a good athletic posture, good athletic base where the knees are inside the feet, the butt's up and out. And your arms and hands, are, your hands are somewhere over your back knee or your back foot. Your hands and thumbs are placed on the, the side of the wood. Okay? And the objective here is to have good proper hand position, your, your back arm, back hand on your front bicep, create a fine angle, be comfortable, and all you're going to do is stay connected and the barrel is slightly below your hands and your hands are slightly below your elbow where the elbow starts to work up much like you're throwing a frisbee off the pitcher's head so it looks something like this and we like our foot to be slightly closed and up against this sidewalk to feel hitting against a firm brace front side where the back knee drives down and forward allowing the hips to really rotate which really is your motor, your engine do that with the lead arm and then we do it with the top hand same thing our thumb is placed on the side and we're throwing the frisbee this is like you're, you're skipping a, a, a stone over a pond and you're hitting the bag flush now we've used this bag for a very long time and what we've done we've put carpet and then we put duct tape around the bag so it uh, can withstand some of the blows that it takes and it will last longer so then we use the heavier piece of wood, and the heavier piece of wood we're going to do with two hands. And again, our thumb alignment is on the side of the bat. We're going to get into a good athletic posture, a power base. We're going to stay connected and keep connected, where the elbow stays slightly even or behind the hands. And then we keep the angles in the wrist, we keep the angles, we keep the angles, keep the angles, and then we release the angles for maximum power. We have a term that we use that we're very fond of, joint effort. And what that really means is that your lead knee matches or mirrors your lead elbow. And your back knee and back elbow mirror each other. For example, they're all flexed. At the point of impact, the lead knee and the lead elbow firm up, matching each other. The back leg, inverted L. There's a bend in the knee, thigh straight up and down, head somewhat over your back thigh. And your elbow, in this position here at impact, is, is formed much like your back knee, an inverted L. So it looks something like this. Kids have a tendency to peel off of it, to leak the radar or the lead elbow, and they pull off the ball. And so what happens is the hands turns over and you roll over. This forces them to stay through the ball in the palm up, palm down position at impact. We like to see our elbows going forward and then down. You'll often see kids disconnect out, disconnect back, and leading with the elbow excessively, creating a, an excessive bat drag or bat lag. You do this with wooden stake. We also, as you will see later, we throw and we hit and punch hit and punch, as you'll see a little bit later. Uh, we also use a regular bat. 
And all we're going to do here is we're going to do some rapid fire. The important thing there is to stay connected. Oftentimes kids will get tired and they'll disconnect and they'll just poke at it and they'll be hand hitters. Hand hitters, we believe that the, the hands really hold the bat in place and it's the engine that fires it. It's much like if you're trying to knock down a tree. You're not going to knock down a tree by just poking at it. You're going to knock down a tree by driving the backside through. And so the rapid fire, maintaining posture, works out real well. Again, this is Paul Nickerbrooker with BeYourBestAcademy.com. For more information, check out our website. Thank you much.